go over a side line scissor slide with an added adductor pullback in that position while you're going through some breaths. Once you're on your side for your scissor slides, make sure you're roughly about 90 degrees in at your hips and knees. Lengthen it out either with your top arm or using that elbow um, or bicep as a pillow. Stacking your hips, your rib cage, and your shoulders on top of each other. With this one, you want to make sure that your shoulders are rolling with you and keep the lower back slightly rounded with your rib cage tucked in. Make sure that you're not arching that lower back and flaring the rib cage forward. So to start off, you can go for your, um, your scissor slides where you want to lengthen that top leg bring your knee a little bit longer than the one below and then keeping the lower back rounded as you then pull it back. So after a couple of reps and that you get that movement, I want you to keep your lower leg completely relaxed. So you're not squeezing up or doing any movement with the leg and with the rest of the body as well, you're gonna keep everything nice and relaxed. So relax the shoulders, relax your jaw, your neck muscles, with the top leg then, I want you to have a gentle connection and a soft squeeze down the waist towards your bottom knee. I'm gonna start off and squeeze my knee down and then drag it along the inside of that lower thigh and you're gonna feel your groin activating through as you pull that back. Keep that position with the lower back, making sure that you're not arching the lower back through, making sure you're not flaring out the ribs, and the feet should still be nice and flat against the wall. You're gonna hold this position, and on each breath in, I want you to think about trying to lengthen out with your bottom knee even further. As you breathe out, while still keeping that connection and the soft squeeze down the waist with the top knee, you're gonna try and pull that back just another millimeter more. So as I inhale, I'm going to try and lengthen out through the bottom leg. As I exhale, I'm squeezing my knee down and seeing if I can pull it back even further. So here there's no movement, but you should get that added little bit of extra pull into your adductor and your groin.